That's a, a male erectile dysfunction joke. You know what? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what? Everything is new tonight. We're supposed to have a guest, and I can't really say if this guest is going to appear. I really don't know. It's possible. It's, I, it's very possible. I, mean, I forget her name. It's a her. Anyway, if she doesn't call in the next few minutes, they're on Skype, you know. Skype. Oh, that's not Skype. I better be ready in case she calls. She'll be there. That'll be her. No, wait, that's not right either. <laughs> I, I mean, this one. No, no. Yes? No? No? Yes? No, no, yes. no that's me. And that's her. And, and this, this is where she'd be. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. I, I should move over here before I... No, see, how did that happen? It's, it's not okay. Uh, it, it just changes everything, changes all the time. I can't make track of it all. It's changing all the time. People know I'm really doing nothing here on the show. I, I apologize for that. I know you know I know you know I know you know you know I know. But even though I'm doing nothing here on the show, and it takes no actual skills to do what I do, I mean, I'm just here. That isn't the point. The point of the show isn't like it is in regular show business where you, you're judging whether or not I have talent. Weirdos got talent. That's not the point. It isn't. The point of enlightenment is convincing yourself you're not enlightened. Well, yeah. The point of enlightenment. The point of enlightenment. The point of enlightenment. It's convincing yourself you're not enlightened. It's convincing yourself you're not enlightened. The point. 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 The point.
Okay. And then, see, and then they do the thing, and then they want to make you want to go. Pookie, pookie, picky, pah. Pookie, chunka, niki, la, la. <laughs> I didn't. Whoa! try and call someone else. I mean, it just doesn't seem like our our planned guest is going to show up. Uh, well, all right. Let's call our usual co-host, John Yo Dis. He said it would be okay if we called him. So, you know, we'll do that. Uh, he should be ready for the call. I mean, you'd think... I don't know. I don't see him pick it up. Oh, wait, he's there. Hold on. Finally, I got my own computer. I was so psyched to explore a whole new world. I just don't feel normal. My friends are nice, but they just don't get me. I feel like such a weirdo! Go to be understood. I found this online show. I can call in. I can express myself. Be on TV. Weirdos TV. Weirdos.com. Sometimes a stranger can be your best friend. Here you are. Oh my god. It's almost like everything is working today. Can you can you see me? And I can see you. It's just amazing. Something's wrong. Everything's right. How did it... What, what went right? Oh, we're lost in confusion, John. Yo, this. Suck on this. I don't know what happened to her. She should have called already. We, we said 6 p.m. Is she that kind of a girl? Well, I would. If I see her online, I'd call her. That'd be fine. If I called you, you didn't call me. Right? Yes. Right? So I'm active. I'm proactive. I'm psychoactive. Interactive. If you just for one second, I'll be back. Oh, you're a bastard. Yo, this has left the building. Oh, wait, he's back now. Hi, John. I thought you were going to go, oh my god, he's taking his clothes off. This is getting disgusting. Wait, I, I, I'll i take you off the air. Hold on. Oh my god, it's gross. Oh, I, I can't believe the public actually almost saw that. <laughs> that would I would have got in trouble for that, I'm sure.
All right. I can see what John is preparing uh, here. I just want to make sure that I'm ready for it myself, John. It's terrific, and I really, I really appreciate you going to all that trouble just for my little stupid show. And I, I know John's been reading the Facebook comments, too, because, you know, John's the co-host. He, uh, he works for the show. So John's been... Uh, He's been seeing all the fighting I'm doing on Facebook where everybody thinks I suck. It, I wanted to fight with you on Facebook. I, I, no, you never did. I wish you would. You know what? You should. You should pretend that you're someone who hates the show. And you should fight with me mercilessly on Facebook and just constantly ridicule me. And we'll have all these big fights. And it'll be great. It'll be yeah, pick a cause. I mean, be religious and anti. I'm anti religious and be, be down on all time travelers or something like that. See, the problem is you, the background is still light. And and only your hood is dark. I'm not trying to be a fool. Oh, you're not. Oh, oh, I thought you. I just just assumed. You look good. No, no, it's a good look for you. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to put down the new look. It's just, it's. I just assumed you were going for something else. Wait, let me. Since I didn't. Since you're going for what you're going for, let me go. I'll do a different direction here. No, wait. I'm going to no, do something I else. Have, I have a black screen set up. That will be you do? next time. Next time. No, 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 no. Look, I'm doing something different. We're going to do a whole new... No, no, don't take it off. Oh, I was just getting interested. Anyway, no, no, I'm doing... Look, I'm doing crazy things with your look. Oh, it's so exciting. Everyone is wondering what centrally is the problem. And I'm just... I can reject... Everything, but not anything. You know what I mean? Funky shit. I I used to have a, a, a companion who would say, you know what I mean, jelly bean? And I hated that. So now I never say that. Instead I say, you know what I mean, funky shit. Instead of jelly bean, I say funky shit. You know what I mean, funky shit? Yes, I Because I, I hate beans, too. Yeah. And, well, some beans are worth knowing about, but it doesn't mean you have to eat them. It, you just have to know about them, you know. You know, know about them. Uh, yes, it's... Just, that's... That's exactly what I was thinking too. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna move you around the screen. I I, I, I know you're not a floating head, but I'm just gonna I just need to have you be a little bit more mobile. You know, just a little bit, just so that I can uh, keep you under control. You know what I mean? Yes. Hold on. It's about manipulation. See, I'm moving, and you're moving, and now we're both moving. We're in motion, you know? Motion is good. Motion is good. Motion feeds the ocean, and that's how we live. My a man without a man without a himself complained. But, but you know what happened? What's that? You'll never 
Yes. You have no body. What need, uh, what need have you for shoes? You know, that's such a good question. I Now I know why I have you on the show, John, because you ask good questions like that. So the answer to your query, of course, is that I'm talking about a long, long time ago. Oh my God, it was probably the 22nd, maybe the, maybe even the 21st century. I don't know. A long time ago. Way, way back when I had a body. You know, Wait, back then. Can I get rid of my body? Don't worry, your body is, is, is better off. Ignored. I, I would, I would assume the audience really agrees. But anyway, so the point is, back when I had the body, and I had all sorts of body parts, uh, you know, appendages and hair and stuff, and eyes and all that. I mean, I still have the eyes, but you know, I had a chest. And anyway, so I was really bummed out about the lack of shoes, as I mentioned to you previously. You remember that, right? Yes. Okay, so, like I said, the, the shoes had become a real problem in their, in their absence, you know? So, th- I was really bummed out, but then, but then something happened that surprised me. And I, I, I know you can't even guess what I'm referring to. Oh, I can guess. I just don't know if I would be right. I, that's a good point. See, you're very good today. You're really on. This is this is clearly your best appearance so far. So, anyway, take a guess, be it right, be it wrong. What, what do you think might have happened just as I was in the middle of bemoaning my lack of shoes? What do you think happened? I think a wild dog came out of the woods and started barking at you. Arf, arf. No, no, that's not it, but it's a good guess. Do you want to take another guess, or you want me to tell you? I'll take another guess. It, yes, but as you want. It's, it's your appearance. Mold by a manatee! Manatee! No, that's not it. But it, uh, another excellent guess. Here's what happened. So, I, I was complaining, as I mentioned. I was bitching and moaning, and oh my god, I got my shoes. I feel silly about it now, but at the time, it was a big fucking deal, you know? I was pissed the hell off, and and my feet were cold. It was winter, and it was a big deal to me. That was then. This is now. I don't have feet. It seems silly, but back then, it was a big deal. Anyway, so I'm in the middle of complaining, just like I told you. And it wasn't a wild dog. It was just some guy coming down the street, right? But... This is what got me. This is the punchline. This is the, the kicker. The kicker. And, and it's appropriate that I call him the kicker. Because the guy coming down the street, John, he had no feet, John. He was coming down the street, but he had no feet. I was complaining about my shoes. I thought I had the blues. But this guy on the street, he didn't even have feet. So what the hell was my problem? He was smiling without them. You see? Obviously mobile. He was walking on the stumps. I mean... Right? He was walking on the stuff without any feet. And I was bummed out just not to have shoes. You know? I felt lousy. Like an idiot. I just felt like... I just felt guilty because I was complaining about something that seemed big to me when something so much, much bigger was wrong with him. But see, I didn't finish the story yet. It gets better. You ready for the rest? Yes, I am. I know. You're ready for anything. That's why you're such a good co-host. Anyway, so... Later in my life, uh, 15, 20 years later, 
still the 21st century, but long after the the time that this broadcast is, uh, what are you guys, in 2015 or something? What year is it where you are, John? It's 2013. 2013? Oh my god, so Obama just got re-elected, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That was a great year. 2013 is a great year. You're going to love it. Particularly for you. A lot of good stuff happens in 2013. Anyway, I, I digress. So, it was, it was 20 years after 2015... 2015 is where I had the initial incident of the... Uh-oh, we lost touch with him. Oh, no, sh- I, you're back. I, I, okay, I, hold on. I, I, Wait, oh, shit, the wrong... Hold on. There we go. Okay, you're back. So anyway, 2015, I complain about shoes. I find out there's a guy with no feet, and I feel dumb. Okay, now 20 years later, it's 20... 35, right? 20 years later. Yes. At this point, I get into a horrible dimensional accident crossing the dimensional rift. Because, you know, it's new then. Crossing the dimensional barriers like a new, a new thing that year, right? So... So I, I get injured. Injured crossing the barrier. And what happens is, I lose my feet. My feet disappear. They're left in another dimension. I have no feet. And I'm thinking about 20 years earlier when I saw the other guy with no feet. And I had no shoes at the time. And it put everything in perspective. You you, you remember that incident, right? Well, I'm sure telling me about the incident. I can't remember something that hasn't occurred yet. What? This is the future. You know, you're so good at this, John. I'm so glad I've got you here to keep me straight. I could have jumped right ahead and skipped over that very important point. Thank you so much. Is there anything else I'm... Daddy! Is there anything else I'm missing that I am just skipping over because I'm a time traveler and I don't know what you guys understand? You know what I mean? Is there something else I should know? Is this? I'm not fully evolved like you. Okay, okay. I'll try to keep that in mind. I, you, thank you. Thank you. Anyway, so, like I say, 20 years later, I lose my feet. Reminds me of the time when I saw the guy with no feet and I had no shoes. So I try to keep perspective and say, hey, I've got no feet, but it could be worse, right? But but I can't. I lost my fucking feet. My feet! They're gone! It was so upsetting. you traveled back in time to warn yourself. And right. You that's were right. The man you saw. That's true, but see, that's where you learn that that doesn't work. You think you can warn yourself of stuff in the past, but that just gets you into a feedback loop where you, you end up warning yourself not to warn yourself because the thing you did when you warned yourself was worse than the thing you did when you didn't warn yourself. But then you listen to the warning and then you have to unwarn yourself, but then you don't listen to the unwarning because you don't know which one to listen to. So you got to go back further and tell yourself not to warn yourself because you won't listen. It gets complicated fast. So you don't do that. There's what you do. To me when my companion animal made a doo-doo poop on the rug, and really? I wanted to travel into the past and kill his parents. Right. But then I changed my mind, and I just kept going back and back uh-huh. different Further. versions of thousands of different versions of me. Were exactly. In the and that's dangerous, right? You get confused instantly, right? How many, how many times did you run into the paradox where you're trying to have sex with yourself, right? It was 25 times before I finally decided to kill them all and then myself. Really? You made it to 25 iterations? That's impressive, John. That is impressive. I didn't know you had that much stamina. I got confused after 18. 
I just gave the fuck up. But so, I lost my feet in the other dimension, and I was bummed. I did, couldn't keep perspective, and I couldn't even remember why. And I was crying about the lack of feet, and I was stumbling around, and Lo and behold, that same guy that I had seen 20 years earlier without feet had also become a dimensional time traveler. And he showed up just at that moment, and wouldn't you know it, he no longer had legs at all. It was just his torso. And he was laughing at me. He was like, you, you thought you were having it so bad. And now you know that you've got legs, even without feet, and I don't even have legs. You think this story has legs, John? I think that the story has a heart. And but that's the most important thing. That's what I thought, too. So I was glad that I had uh, my heart still intact, even though I had lost my feet and this guy had lost his legs. But you can imagine that year after year, as I did more dimensional travel, I lost more body parts. And I, I kept running into the same guy who was a few years ahead of me, losing his body parts. And eventually, yes... He had no heart. And, and I knew. It's very cool when you lose all of your skin and you're just like a skull. And then right. you're just a brain. That's right. You know, when you lose your skull. You go insane when you're just a brain. But it's a pain. But it's all the same. Because in the end, you refrain. And all that matters your mind. 